Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another DFO video. And today we're going to be talking about the absolute best way to boost fame on a newly created character. So here I have my Crusader and he is on day two, a brand new character, and he has about 28k fame. So if you follow these steps, hopefully during your day one or during your day two, you can reach as much fame or even higher if you got the resources to do so. In this video, there's basically two goals or two minimum requirements that we want to hit. We want to hit Noblesse Master. And second, we want to hit Stormy Wrath or Stormy Root, whatever it's called, uh, minimum requirement for the expert difficulty. And so in the beginning, once you hit level 110, you'll have around like eight, uh, seven or eight K fame uh, just on, you know, on your magic seals or your event stuff, whatever, right? It's brand new character, no titles, no nothing. Uh, around 7 to 8k fame and so what you want to do is you want to hit up no bless no bless is going to be your step one into reaching a lot of fame okay now the good thing about no bless is you can bring a team of four of your characters in total and you can run them as many times as you want on every single of those characters so you're going to have four characters worth of fatigue points to run no bless on I'm going to go on to my F Ranger here because she has no bless tickets and I want to show you guys the average fame. Um, you're going to head over to Lindsay and you're going to go to Masters and let's see, you're going to need 27,000 average fame to enter. And so you can, you know, put in all your characters like this and then uh, this is average. You have 31,000 average. And now if you don't have uh juice characters like i do or you are under the average frame by just a little bit uh no worries this is the master's difficulty so if you don't have enough fame you can head over to you click on this button expert and now you're going to go to expert and the average fame for expert is 23.7 uh, k fame which is very easily obtainable if you have three other characters to average it out for you so once again, I have something like this and 31,000, but you only need 23,000. So bring out your calculator, do your calculations, do what you have to do and uh, try to do no bless first. And so here we are at the distribution screen. This is when we uh, clear no bless. And this was what we're presented with, with all of our epics that drop. What I like to do on my new created characters or characters that I want to invest in the future, what I do is I give them cursed items. So cursed items are the ones with the question marks. And once you purify them, they will give you uh, amplification stats, right? So for example, I would give my crusader and I can click on equipments here. I would give my crusader maybe uh, this belt. So I put the belt here. And because he doesn't have a amplification stat on this belt, it's basically a free uh, grimoire. You know, those grimoires cost like whatever, like 40 million or something like that. So this is pretty much uh, a free amp right here. And again, with the recent Noblesse patches, if you run Noblesse on your character, uh, it will guarantee two slots no matter what so i'm running on my f range right now and she's guaranteed two slots and now if you're lucky you might get two slots on your other characters but don't count on it so uh when you're running noblesse just remember that your selected character will be getting two slots and this brings us to our step two once you're decked up with epics uh with a lot of fame padding uh, what you want to do is you want to put enchants on them so the two easiest way to get enchants are if you go to elvamir uh, you go into this portal, you go to Elvimir right here, you do, uh, what is it, like 50 to 100 uh, floors, you're going to get rewarded with materials that you can uh, hand in for enchantments, right? Enchantment boxes, beads, whatever it may be. But what I like to use and what I've been recently been using is these, um, these materials right here ominous crystal so what you could do with ominous crystals is i'm just gonna put it into my bag here and then we're gonna go into valasia go here to destroy castle of the dead advanced and we're gonna talk to this npc right here we're gonna go to shop and we're gonna go to uh enchantments i believe or uh, materials so materials and what you could do with these ominous crystals is you're gonna turn them into the untradeable versions and then with these intradable versions, you can turn them into frost crystals. So it goes, it's a one-to-one -one conversion rate. And with 300 of these frost crystals, you're gonna go into this enchantment here, 
and you're gonna buy this standard enchanting bead selection box. And what it includes is basically everything that you need, right? So dealer type, you're gonna get your weapon bead plus 10. Uh, you know, you got your top and your bottoms, you got your crit belt shoes, and you got your special equipment as well. Of course, these are not best in slot, but these are budget enough and they're good enough to give you more fame padding so you can get a uh, higher fame. And now once you have around 12 level 105 epics with a decent amount of fame on it, um, I'm talking about 1.9, 1.8k fame, and you got some budget enchants on it, what we're going to focus on are the talismans and insignia next, right? So talismans, these ones are going to um, take a while, take a long time for you to get your you know best of slot. But we don't really need best of slot at the moment. We just need a lot, a lot of fame. So there's two areas that you can get talismans from. Uh, we're going to go into our channels here and you can hit up exile mountains. That's going to give you a ton of fame. You can do this solo mode. It's super, super easy. And the second spot is Pandemonium War. And you only do Pandemonium War if you don't have enough talismans or enough uh, runes to fill in the slots. So do Pandemonium War, Exile Mountains for your talismans and make sure to get all of your runes as well. Because each rune is about 50, uh, 40, 46 uh, fame, right? So that's a lot, a lot of fame. And now with those three or four steps that I've mentioned, hopefully you are really, really close to 25,000 fame. If you are not, don't worry. Just keep hitting those noblesse. Um, keep uh, feeding those noblesse items into those uh, existing items so you can get even more fame. But if you do want a shortcut and you can't wait another day, uh, the next biggest fame increase is going to be your avatars. Now, I've saved avatars for last because they are expensive and they do uh, require gold to, uh, for you to get fame, right? So each piece of an avatar is around 69 fame and you're going to have uh, nine slots that you can kind of fill in. So, you know, uh, 69 times nine, you just do round to seven. So around 630 fame that you can get, uh, around 630 fame that you can get extra with those avatars. Uh, pet is going to be massive boost, but if you don't want, you know, a super expensive pet, you can always check the auction house. You can go to creature here, uh, search, or sorry, go to creature and search, and they are around, you know, 10,000, or sorry, 10 million, 11 million, and they give you 400. Oh, this one gives you 600 fame, so this one is actually massive, but of course you want a creature that is beneficial for your class, so don't go willy-nilly just buying random pets, uh, buy a pet that is useful for you. And with all that said, let's say you finally hit the Storm's Wrath threshold, which is 24 or 25,407 uh, fame, something like that, right? Uh, let's, ho let's head over to uh, that area. And I'm going to explain how we can uh, possibly clear this dungeon. Because first of all, you have a lot of super random epics. They have no synergy whatsoever. You're going to be doing exactly zero damage, right? So what you want to do is you're going to go into your cube contracts. And if you don't have cube contracts, you can buy it from the Sarah shop for like 500,000. And you're going to pick an element that you want. Any element, your highest. So right now I have fire and fire is my highest element. So I'm going to equip that red cube. So we're gonna go over to the guide section and we are going to go, to go add a tab and it's, the tab is gonna be called object, I believe. And let's go to the O and object. And so these are the uh, epics that do uh, proc damage, we call it proc damage. And it's basically fixed damage that is not gonna be part of uh, your actual uh, damage that you inflict, right? So these object damage is going to be massive because currently you do zero damage, right? So what you want to do is you want to either get uh, the top here. So let's uh, let's add that. Uh, these ones, this one, this one, and the belt. And basically these are your left side gear. And these are the epics that you want to aim for if you are doing solo dungeons like Stormwrath. So these are going to give you an substantial amount of uh, damage just because it's fixed objects and you don't need to worry about your actual you know damage right it's just like you know proc damage or object damage so these are going to be massive for soloing so you at least want to get one or two pieces and that will extremely extremely help your uh your solo play so i just have this top here 
and this top is enough for me to go in my battle satyr mode which is arguably like really bad uh and i have all this just random garbage epics that i kind of put together and i can clear storm's wrath in two minutes just because of this insane uh, top here and i also have another object piece which is the digging reinforcement part this is an object piece that um does fixed damage as well so i have two pieces that do massive amounts of damage and if you check my dps chart it's literally going to be like 80 percent just object damage on proc damage right and now you're wondering how can i get these uh pieces if i'm not going to farm any regular dungeons anything like that right so no bless again once again no bless gives you um uh limited but it is a selectable epic that you can give to any character so try to get a uh, piece from the noblesse but if you cannot you can go to explore here and you can go into the adventure token shop and you can actually select a 105 epic equipment right here for 900 coins super super cheap and you can buy this and what it gives you inside is just a selectable uh, box that you can choose for example we go to armor and we're going to choose that earth thin nature piece right that gives you the proc damage or any of those five left side epics that i mentioned before in the guide uh, let's go back to it any of these five are really really good and now once you start clearing storm's wrath you're going to uh, notice that the fame drops is going to be absolutely substantial right so storm's wrath gives you a uh um a range from 30 to 60 option level on your gear but in reality it's actually about like 50 right it's it, the, the average is around 50 option level um according uh, to my experience uh it's really really weighted uh, high so that's really really good for storm's wrath right you're gonna get around 50 options level and you're gonna be propelling all of your fame you're gonna be patting your fame up uh substantially and now once you clear all that, you cleared Noblesse, you got your Enchants, you got your Avatars, you got your uh, Budget Min Max, you got your Storm Wrath clearance tickets, uh, you got all those rewards. Hopefully you are around this fame level too. So I'm around 28,000 and from here on out, you can start doing your advanced dungeons. So at 28,000, what can I do? I can do um, some Noblesse. Oh, sorry, no, it's not no bless. This is uh, Meister's Lab Normals. You can do Destroy Castle of the Dead Experts, and you can just start normally progressing from here on out because you've done the most hardest part, the most headache. It's getting from you know 7k fame to around 25, 26,000 fame. So you've done all the hard work. Now it's time to reap the rewards. Play your class normally. Start having fun with it and start doing some advanced dungeons with some buddies with some pops and then you can uh start uh min maxing your character more starting from there so hopefully this video did help you give you all the information that you need to gain uh, a lot of fame to get a lot of padded fame to kind of gear your newly created character and so with all that said if it did help you uh, I would appreciate it if you guys leave a like or subscribe and uh, maybe leave a comment. Maybe if I miss something, maybe you want to chime in, say something more. Always leave a comment. I'm always reading comments, so uh, leave it down there and I will review it. Yeah, I think that's it for the video. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.